So we have seen how to create a function uh, in uh, NWBC, right? So when we go to NWBC, when you try to create a function, right? Click on functions. And when you try to create a function, for example, you get the save button here, right? So after you enter your data information, you click on save and immediately the function is created for you. Now, you could also use workflow uh, you know, for getting approvals before creating the, before the function is created. So let us see what would happen uh, when you set up the function creation uh, with approvals. Okay, so for that, there are three things that need to happen. Okay, number one, we are going to close this, come back again. Number one, uh, parameter, configuration parameter needs to be set up for workflow. So you go to SPRO, IMG, GRC, access control, and maintain configuration settings. So in here, Okay, for workflow, because work, approvals are, will use workflows. So in the parameter group, you have a workflow group. So click on new entries. And then in the workflow group, you have a parameter called function maintenance. Okay, 1064. So if you want to create functions with uh, workflows, using getting by after getting approvals this parameter needs to be set that's the number one okay so what happens when you set this parameter right so let's go back to quickly go back to workflow again as mwbc again and see what difference does that parameter make okay So you go to setup, click on function, and click on create. So you see now instead of uh, save button, you have a submit button. So, so what you're doing here is right now, you're basically submitting this request for function creation for approval purposes. Okay, now, when you're submitting a this function request for approval, so you need to have a approval, right? So that's number one. So in the backend system, your approver would need, okay, let's go back to, let's come to S approver again, okay? Uh, before we do that, let's go to MSMP configuration, okay? So we need to set up, configure the workflow for this function approval, okay? So, you can go to SPRO, okay, so this is the second step that we are doing, okay, the first step was the configuration parameter, and the second step we are going to do this, this one, so if you go to workflow for access control, right, click on, you know, execute maintain for MSMP workflows, now, SAP gives you about 11 or 12 uh, workflows for various purposes. So for example, SAP GRS access request is for user provisioning. Okay, so anything to do with user creation or user modification, locking, deleting, you'll be using this process ID, this workflow. You'll have to configure this, okay, as per your uh, process. Similarly, you have uh, for mitigation uh, assignment, you know, control assignment, you have this. You have a firefighter ID reviews, okay, you have this process for the workflow for that. Uh, then you have, if you want to approve roles, create roles, and you won't need to get approvals, then you will use this workflow. Now, right now, we are going to use the function approver uh, because we want to create functions by getting approvals, okay, so we need to configure this. Now, there are different stage, you know, what you call, uh, let's say, phases 
of configuring uh, any workflow in MSMP. Okay, so first step that you do is pick your workload that you want to configure. Okay, so in, in this case we are configuring for function approval. Okay, so then you click on uh, display change so that you get into the change mode. Now every function process ID workflow will have a rule ID. Okay, now rule ID will basically tell you what is your process initiator. Okay, so our process in you pick the process initiator rule and ensure that you have the right process initiator here. Okay, in the process initiator field. Uh, so once that is set, now what then system does is it goes and checks what is the path it has to take. Okay. So by default, all your uh, SAP delivered uh, process IDs or workflows will default to GRSC default path. So we're not going to change this. But in case if you, you know, if you have a requirement, custom requirement that needs to go to some, you know, start with some other path, uh, depending on your, uh, you know, requirement, you can change the path ID. Okay. Now, so after the path, you what you take the path, then you go to maintain paths. Okay, the system goes to maintain paths to check what you know what are the stages, okay, or uh, that it has to go through for before the approval is completed. So you have only one path here, and the key component for this path is a couple of things, right? So one. If you click on modify, okay, one is your default path stage that, that you're not going to change. Here you have to specify the agent ID, okay, agent ID meaning how or who is going to do the approval. All right, so before we fill here, you have this maintain agent ID step also where the approvers information agent information is maintained here in maintain agents uh, step so if you click on modify you'll get the definition of the agents okay how meaning you know how what what is the purpose of the agent and you know what is the how is what is the agent type so in this case the agent type is pfc g roles so what it means is anybody okay who has this particular role or any role that is there in this field now this is because this is a SAP delivered one we will not able to change it but in this case anybody who has this role okay SAP underscore GRAC underscore function underscore approval okay anybody who has that role is the approval for the functions okay now let us cancel this so remember the agent ID is GRSA function approved. So in the maintain paths, you have to modify, click on the stage, select the stage and modify, and then say show details. So in the maintain paths, you have to specify who the, what the agent ID is, okay? So function approver. So what this means is anybody who has that uh, SAP underscore GRAC underscore function underscore approval role is going to be the approval for this workflow. Okay. So you save this and then save and generate the workflow. Generate meaning activate the workflow. Okay. So this is you. So now you have configured the workflow that is required for function creation approval. But you also want need to make sure that the users, you know, the approvers, have this role assigned to them. SAP GRSA function approver, right? So let us go to SU01 now. 
okay and make sure uh, we have those roles assigned okay so let's go to see so we, we have this user id okay this is administrator user id so the administrator will have let's say if the administrators have that role right so is a, we have that role but the key thing is anybody who is a function approver needs to have that role so we have a user id called sp fun app who is a function approver okay so he, the user needs to have the function approver needs to have this role okay along with those because the uh, use the function approver will log into nwbc to approve it mean the user also needs to have this mandatory uh, roles for executing in wbc and the end user role okay so this now you have set up what is required for approving uh, the function now let's go to nwbc and now create a function using so we have create a function and submit it for approval okay so let me copy uh, one of the uh, existing functions so that we don't lose time so all you need to do is let's say uh, let's take this okay and make a copy of this you can create your own uh, function from the scratch and it will still be the same okay so you will still need to submit it So let's rename it to something that we want. ZMP MM0. Okay, so let's put a Z here so that we get it in the in the bottom. And uh, click on let's say Z. Okay, and click on submit. So you get a message saying uh, instead of some data is saved, you get workflow request submitted successfully. Close this box. So we'll come back to functions again. Now what the approver would do is he will log into NWBC uh, in GRC and come to search request. So how did he come to search request? In access management. So he logs in, comes into access management clicks on search request and from the process ID we need to select he will select function approval workflow okay and search and you will see the functions that are pending for uh, approval okay so you select the approval you know, uh, the request that he needs to approve and let's say check on instance status you're going to see the tiff path and the con workflow configuration and if you see here you see so many users right all these users these are the people who have uh, that sap underscore grac underscore function underscore approval role assigned to them okay that's why you see this list here list of approvers all right so if you go close this and now the, the approver click on will click on administration button okay and he'll click on the path and he will get the details of the function okay now He can either reject or approve the request okay so let's click on request uh, so say let's say approve and he says sod function is approved okay so which completes your uh, approval now here it is you know still says decision pending but what you could do is you can basically 
refresh the screen and then you would see the approved message here or no status here so let's close this and let's let's go to setup and uh, click on functions so we created something with a zz right zzsp something right so this is the one we created zzsp mm03 and if you open you will get the details of the function okay now close this now couple of things that you could do uh, additionally right so if you go to the MSMP workflow right and when you maintain the path there are two things you need to remember okay one if you go to modify there are the approval type option right you have any one approver or you will have all approvers what this means is when you select all approvals so the list that we saw right uh, when we are when we were applying when in the approval screen of all list of the users when you select if the approval type is all approvers which means all of the function will not be created unless all of those approve users approve the request okay so you it's always a good option you know good idea to select only one approver you know uh, as much as possible it again depends on what your you know policy and uh, what your process is so you select uh, any one approver and the second thing you know another thing you need to rem uh, you know you could use in the note uh, modify task settings okay you can always you can make the approver enter a comment within whenever whether you know whenever they are approving or rejecting the request okay so this is another setting that you could use that if the user and the approver is rejecting you will have to force him you can force him to enter a comment as to why he is rejecting uh, the request okay so this is another thing that you could set up in this ms uh, in this workflow okay now this is how you create uh, a function using msmp workflow uh, which is the process id uh, sap grsa func underscore appr okay next we will see how to do the same you know with the risks okay so we created risk now we will see how to create a risk using workflow so which means we'll have to configure this workflow next